Well, welcome back into Mid Norfolk. We've had some hail overnight and it's sticking around today. It's still minus one, minus two degrees here. I'm really glad I did get those tulip bulbs in when I did. There's not an awful lot you can do in the garden on a day like today. But I'm going to do a bit more just cutting back on this border. I've got part way along, starting to work my way back towards all the nettle and perennial weed that's just got itself established coming under the hedge from the bank behind. But what I'm going to do is just take down all the stems of these uh, autumn flowering daisies here, it's just give us access onto the ground and it'll allow us to see the bulbs that are coming up. Well, let's go and have a look around the garden because we have got some early flowering spring bulbs already starting to emerge in this garden. And here's the first little flurry of snowdrops almost lost with the ice that's coating the ground here in the dell and behind it the aconites starting to break through so these will get much more florid over the next couple of weeks we've got quite big areas of them if i just pan around looking down towards the pond you'll see this area here i make my way further over it's just starting to break out now with the aconites here we go look don't really notice them until you get close up. These are beautiful things, very short-lived, come through now, flush over the course of mid-January and early February, and then they're gone for the year and disappear underground again. The other bulbs we've got starting to emerge here are the giant snowflakes. Let me go and show you those. Here we are, great big clumps of them. No flower buds showing yet. They're one of the earliest architecturally to break ground and put sufficient height on so that you actually notice the clumps. So the beauty of them at this time of year is purely architectural green upright stems, but they'll be flowering soon enough. And these have been in this position for several years now, big enough clumps that we could consider digging these up this year and splitting them. They do split very well. Oh, yeah. I can't go for long without a Vimarana walking in front of the camera here. Now this is actually one of the larger drifts of snowdrops here in the dell under the combination of an oak and a beech tree. We usually can divide these very well and there'll be a lot of bulbs sitting on the surface that have been scratched up by the birds. Not a good day to try and find them today with the snow covering. We really need to wait until this is defrosted. But this in another couple of weeks should be an absolute mass of white snowdrops. Should be lovely. Oh, here comes the spaniel, making the most of the bit of sunshine, going down to see what she can find down by the pond. We've actually got a lot more spring bulbs in this bank than we've realised because we've put this path going down to the pond in this little area where you develop. You can just see the drain hatch coming there which is going towards the new Clargester, but we're probably going to appreciate these far more than we have in previous years. And it'll be interesting to see just how much damage putting this run of drains across this dell has made. My guess is not an awful lot. They are terribly resistant to being dug up and replanted without showing any signs of it six months down the road. So we'll show you this dell over the next couple of weeks as these spring bulbs start to come through. But for now, it's really all about the snowdrops with a blanket of snow beneath them in the uh, bright setting sunlight we've got here this afternoon, looking really, really splendid. Thanks for watching.